These paintings are the product of countless hours of work by Australian artist Jeff Martin. He's been travelling around the world with the very privileged position of being welcomed into some of the world's best kitchens. Jeff Martin joins me now in London where his paintings are on display. Jeff, thank you for your time. Can you tell me why, what's made you want to paint kitchens? Uh, I have a background in restaurants and um, I was looking for movement in my work and I wanted something different. So I, um, I ended up focusing on the working machinations of the, of the environment. It's not about the food. It's about the environment and the passion of the people at this level that create this kind of work. This one here that we're standing in front of, can you tell me about it? What can we see? What kitchen are we looking at this here? This is New York. Um, this is Per Se. It's considered the Ferrari of the kitchens been referred to by a number of people and it, this is only one portion of it this is the main pass so there's pastry and chocolate beyond that but I always focus on the main section of the kitchen and you'll notice that I bend the walls and the, the, the benches but that's just my way of very creating movement within the space. In your paintings you told me earlier that the devil is in the detail what can we see in this painting that you might not immediately pick up but for example, before you pointed out to me the screen in the corner. Tell me about that. that that's actually a video link between uh, the sister restaurant of Per Se, which is the French Laundry uh, in California. And um, Thomas Keller wanted the two to have a relationship where they... Um, and it's kind of funny because somebody will be cleaning up or setting up and they kind of nod at each other and say good luck before you kind of... It's this relationship. There is a relationship and it's acknowledgement to that relationship. Now this has got to be one of the most popular restaurants in the world. It's Noma in Copenhagen. Can you tell me about painting this kitchen? What was it like? You asked me earlier if I had a favourite and I never, but, but this was the first in the international series. So it's, it's, it's pretty special to me. And also the access as far as a European notion of what art is. So when I contacted Rene, it was, yeah, why wouldn't you want to come? Sure. And uh, I was pretty nervous when I got in there. And I do sketches, and then the, the process is I get in, I sketch, and I take lots of photographs, but I always paint the painting off the sketches. And the thing that caught my attention about the kitchen more than anything else is the scrum-like act activity of the chefs. And they deliver food to the tables. It's about giving. And it's the notion of when you're working in a kitchen, you, you, too many kitchens in the world you send food out and then a waiter might come back in and say compliments from table six, but w what does that really mean? When you take something out and you give it to somebody, you get that instant gratification or you, you get a reaction. And then that has to have an impact on the way you prepare the food and what you do. And that's part of Rene's philosophy and the, and the team's philosophy. It's very much a team approach. You must have seen some amazing scenes in these kitchens. Do you have a particular story, perhaps from Noma, that really sticks out in your mind from those few hours that you spent there? They're, they're all very controlled, precise spaces. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing untoward happening. There's nothing, it's just precision because it's total, you, there's no room for error. There's no room for mistakes. So that's why, you know, the night I was here, there was, uh, this particular night, there were 41 customers and there were over 50 chefs working on that, that evening. Uh, I went, I had a chat to the dishwasher yesterday because I, I think the dishwasher in all these restaurants knows more about what's happening than anybody else in the restaurant. Why is that? Why the dishwasher? Because they can tell you what plates are coming back from the kitchen that aren't being consumed. They can tell you how many f meals are going out. If I was ever going to buy a restaurant, I'd go and speak to the dishwasher. That's where it all, that's where they know everything. This particular work is the Ledbury, an Australian running a, a, a British restaurant. And uh, last year, the beautiful thing about the awards last year when I was here, that when he, when he became number 34, there was a roar. And it was, a, it was a strange thing because it was some kind of appreciation. I thought, something's going on here. And what they like about him is he's just Brett. He's just Brett. And Brett arrived from Australia with a couple of bucks in his pocket, no real plans, that I'll come over here and see what I can do. And here he is in the 50 best. And he's so non-assuming, he's just, 
doesn't really quite understand why he's in the top 50. He's just an Australian boy doing what he does. And Jeff, if there's one thing that you've taken away from doing this project over so many years and, and working and seeing all these kitchens around the world, what would it be? Passion. I, I have it, they have it, we all get it. And you just give everything, you know. I've brought these works over here for one night, you know, and I've painted on Belgian linen with the best paint. And, and um, the purpose is not to, they're not for sale, but they've come over here so that the guys who work in this environment can see that I'm celebrating that environment and I can continue to do it, which is what, what we're all about. Well, Jeff Martin, thank you so much for your time and thank you for sharing these amazing paintings my, with us. My pleasure, Thank you. Thank you.